Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's wash and go is featuring Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Elongating Gel. Today I am pairing the Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Gel with the Extreme Wet Line for a longer hold. So the Aunt Jackie's, it does an amazing job on its own as far as defining my hair and then stretching it, elongating the label. The label says elongating curl gel and it definitely does that. So if a more stretched, elongated look is your vibe, and Jackie's is the way to go. I think I might turn into a side part girly because I'm kind of feeling this. I'm kind of feeling this. It's getting cold outside. Well, it should be getting cold soon. So, you know, a little bang action is always welcome. If you want to see how I achieve this look, just go ahead and keep watching. Today's attempt is a side part. I think most curly girls, when their hair gets to be a certain length, they probably become a middle part girly for a period of time. That's what happened to me. I did not become a middle part girly until my hair reached a certain length. Before that, middle part did not even look right on me. After my hair reached that length, a certain length, it seemed like a middle part was the only thing that I could accomplish for whatever reason. So I just sort of stuck with that. I used to use the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel quite frequently um, back in the day. I stopped using it for some reason. I think I ran low on it, which is what prompted me to go out and get some more. This Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel has paired well with a couple different gels for me. The first one being this wet line, which is what I am going to combo it with today. The Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel is an, is an elongating gel. So we're going for elongation this week. And then I am going to pair it with the wet line, of course, for a little extra hold so that way it can hopefully give me a couple additional days. When I pair products with wet line, usually that is the reason that I pair it with wet line because when I pair something with wet line, I can typically get a couple extra days wear out of it. Not only am I going to attempt to do a side part. I also am going to attempt to somewhat shape a bang. I want something on my forehead. I'm tired of my forehead just being out. It's supposed to be cooling down even though now it says that it's 70 degrees. Um, however, cooling down. Hmm. So this is the front, I'm wondering if I should do this last, but no, because I want this part to definitely conjoin with this. So I'll just start over here, I guess. Just gonna go for it, just gonna go for it. Not sure how this is gonna turn out, not sure what to expect, not sure if it's going to be a fail. Whatever it is, it's gonna have to last for at least four or five days because I don't want to, I don't plan on washing my hair again for another at least four to five days so whatever this turns out looking like we're gonna have to just roll with it i do want volume at the top so that's that's another thing i'm looking for volume particularly in the front or in the top I feel like I just ruined my curls there. I'm gonna have to reconsider the way I did that. Um, okay. One thing about me, when it comes to this hair, I'm going to get bored. And when I get bored, I just try different stuff. 
versatility versatility that is one of the beauties of well, that's one of the things that I enjoy most about being natural the versatility I can pretty much achieve any look Mm. Well, this is getting interesting. I don't want to move it over to the side too much because I probably should have did this section last. Mm. Poor planning on me. Because I do want it to dry in this direction. But I need to do this side and I can't see. So there's that. Whatever. Let's just get this second side done. So we can move on. With our second styler. Our second gel. Shrinkage boy. There's nothing more humble than a tight poor girly walking around with a teaspoon like a fro, but stretched out inches down her back. Mm -hmm. It's a whole flex. People don't even be on. And Jackie's has been applied to the entire head. Now I'm about to go around and add the wet line. And this is going to be a less uniform method. do not know how to do no edges to save my life but baby we finna try we just do the best that we can <clears throat> okay this is what we have i'm going to sit under the dryer for a little bit to begin the drying process and then after that i'll um finish drying with my diffuser and um blow dryer and i'll be back Hair is fully dry, 100% dry, and now we're going to stretch it out. I'll be back. Can we call this like a curly girl side part? Because it's something when you do that deep side part and it wraps around the back a little bit, it kind of, the hair kind of falls just right. 
and in priming my hair like this it also makes me kind of want to get my hair shaped like this I think I might turn into a side part girly because I'm kind of feeling this kind of feeling this it's 